What's up everybody, this is Dr. Nick with Leverage Media, and today I wanna to talk to you about the three things you have to be doing on your website getting ready for 2020. Um, so we're about to wrap up the year here, and um, you know, whenever I do strategy sessions with doctors, the first thing I look at is their website. The website is really the hub of your online presence, so whether you're running Facebook ads or Google ads or creating content or writing blogs, you know, regardless of how people, even if people get referred to you, regardless of how they find you, uh, before they ever come into the office, they're gonna be uh, coming to your website to kind of get a vibe for you, for the practice, to see if it's a good fit for them. So when I look at these sites, I see a lot of sites that are kind of set up for old school SEO. Um, they're set up in a way to where they're not really built to convert the traffic that, that lands on them. So I wanna give you three things that you gotta make sure that you're doing uh, to make sure you convert more customers in, or more visitors into patients. Number one is have clear calls to action and only have one of them. So a lot of the sites that I see, they'll have five, 10, I mean, sometimes there's 20 different calls to action on the actual uh, site itself. Uh, what I recommend is just having one clear call to action that is easy for people to find. It's you know on every page. Basically, people are gonna scan your website, and when they get to the point where you've met the minimum bar of whatever requirements they have in their mind, they need to be able to take action fast. So making sure that that button is front and center, um, allowing them to schedule an appointment. Um, don't have them learn more, don't have them sign up for your newsletter, have them schedule the appointment. That's the thing that you want them to do, so you want that to be your, something like that to be your clear call to action on the site. Number two is be clear with your messaging and make sure that it is uh, patient-centric, not doctor-centric or not office-centric. So what I mean by that is, number one, be clear as to what you do. Uh, don't be vague. If, if it sounds like something that a, a, a drug rehab or a psychologist or a physical, well, I guess a physical therapist would probably have some similar languaging. But if it's vague enough to where something that has nothing to do with chiropractic um, could also fit into that languaging, you're being too vague. So try to be on the nose about what it is that people are looking for. Try to answer the questions that are already in their mind. And the more that you can talk about the things that they're interested in, uh, the more likely they're gonna be to call you, all right? Uh, and then number three is simplify the site. When I look at a lot of these sites, um, again, they're set up for a desktop experience. They're set up for old school SEO, um, you know, 100 pages on the site. You know, you can have 100 pages, they just don't all have to be at the top header, right? Like, so when somebody lands on your homepage, there's, you know, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, uh, 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 main pages that somebody can choose from. And a lot of times those are drop down menus on some of these, a lot of these sites that I look at. So what I want you to do is try to simplify any site, any, um, any page that you can. If you can combine pages, do that. If you can remove pages, do that. Anything that is not geared towards a potential new patient, I would get rid of or I would hide on the website. So there's ways to where you can make the, again, you can have a, uh, abcchiropractic.com slash FAQs, uh, but the FAQs just don't need to be one of the the top um, uh, the top pages at, at the at the header of, of the website. So just be sure that you are simplifying things in a way to where it's easy to scroll. Uh, most of your traffic is going to be coming from uh, from mobile devices now. So when I say things are set up for a desktop experience, that's what I mean is that there there's way too many drop down menus. There's way too many pages. You're hoping that people are going to be searching around on the site. The problem is more than 50% of your traffic is probably coming from mobile devices. And if you're anything like me, I don't do a lot of flipping through different pages on a website on a phone. So you want that home page to have as much information as possible and you want the other pages to be as, or not as simple as possible on the page, but you want them, you want the pages themselves, the structure of the website to be as simple as possible. Once they get on the page, you should have those built out um, as much as you can to give them as much information about that, that service or that condition that you're talking about. So 
Uh, 2020 needs to be all about converting the traffic that you're already getting. Everybody's always worried about more traffic, more traffic, more traffic. But if we send it to a site that's not converting, you're just gonna be disappointed with the results. So focus first on getting that website fixed. If you need any help with that, please hit me up. This is what we do. Um, but you can do this on your own. You can take these three pieces of advice and it'll at least help you go. Even if you went from, I don't know, 2% conversion to 4% conversion, that doubles the amount of people that are calling you from your website. So make these simple changes. Uh, let me know if I can help in any way and we'll talk to you on the next one.